What's up, dumpsters? What's up, dumpsters? Dumpster sluts. What's up, guys? We just got done sawing all that junk that we opened. Yeah, we went sold up yesterday. We brought it up the street. They wouldn't even take some of it because it's fucking but they such took trash. Of it. They took a majority of it. So we ended up getting 39 bucks from that stuff. Plus, one of my fans bought one of the CDs, one of those bare naked lady CDs for 20 bucks. Yeah. Because he wanted me to sign it, and I sent it to him. So I got all my money back off that shit somehow. Happy. Play Krusty's Fun House. Oh, that's a good choice. Oh, that's a... Simpsons game. Yeah, I used to play... I have vivid memories. Let me, let me get this game up, first of all. I have uh, really vivid memories of... Uh, Krusty's Funhouse, dude, because there's a few times I stayed home from school. My mom would either let me stay home or I'd be sick, but for some reason I would always play that game when I was sick and home from school. I would watch Price is Right and all my morning shows that I couldn't watch when I was at school. These are the greatest shows ever. And uh, for some reason I would always play that Krusty's Funhouse on the NES. I never beat it. But I would always fucking play it. This is one of those fucking games where the fucking music just burrows deep into your fucking brain. You can't fucking forget it. Oh, this is definitely better than Bar vs. the Space Mutants. Dude, that game is a fucking wreck. Even when I was a kid, I knew that game was a piece of shit. I don't remember where that these... That background's making me dumb. Yeah, the, the, the graphics in this game are rough sometimes. What? This game is very nostalgic for me, too. Like I said, I had it. A lot of my NES games just did not work. Because they were just corroded from having spit on them for fucking years and years. And a lot of them just did not work, dude. I had to fucking give these games blowjobs for two and a half hours for them to even fucking turn on. But this game, for some reason, always worked. That's another reason why I always played it. Sweet Tooth, you couldn't pay me $100 to keep that Thomas Tank in Oh, God, dude. I, I fucking... I literally told Ani I wanted to run that Red Hot Chili Pepper CD over with my car. Out of all the bands I could have got, dude, the hundreds and hundreds of bands that exist in the world, they give me fucking my least favorite band. Like, you can't even make this stuff up. You would think, with a hundred music CDs, there would be something good. There were. No. 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 Baby, you, I don't know why you kept what you kept. You're never going to listen to it. I know. But we brought it to this place down the street, and the guy was just like, Yeah, a lot of these are slow sellers and stuff we're not going to get rid of, but we'll give you 39 bucks. I should have just been like, Dude, give me an even 40. You fucking asshole. Right. So he gave me 35, 30, he gave me 20, a 10, a 5, and then a, I'm like, dude, just give me two 20s, you fucking asshole. This is the kind of stuff they had back in the day when I grew up, dude. A, a, a game for kids, obviously made for kids, starring a character that is not for kids at all. Yeah. And they had this kind exactly. of stuff all the time when I was a kid, dude. They had like, you know... Terminator 2 action figures and stuff or, you know, a rated R movie that was just not for kids at all and all this stuff and it was just, it was a weird time, dude. What the fuck is the point? What are you trying to I got, you gotta get the mice into the crusher machine. Oh, okay. So yeah, you get these blocks. I don't know where they went. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get them. Like I said, this gets, this gets, uh, very difficult at a certain point, and then I usually turn it off. That's why I've never beat it, because I get frustrated with it, and then I turn it off. I beat Super Metroid here the other day. I, I turned it on, Super Metroid on my Vita, and I was just like, ah, I'm just gonna play this for a little bit. I ended up beating the whole thing. I can beat that game so quick now, dude. Terminator on Genesis? Okay. Make a list with these, babe, please. Keep track of the game. <laughs> That's your job. You like up. making lists. Fuck Don't tell my secret. Yeah, she she has she has a phone and she can do all this stuff with her phone, but she refuses to do it and will write things down oh. on paper like it's fucking 1996. Mm -hmm. 
I always get on her about it. I was like, why are you, why do you have a physical calendar when you can just put it in your phone and it'll remind you on the day of when you gotta do stuff? Dude, like getting that block on the edge of that, like when I was a kid, was just such a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, my wife refuses to put stuff in her phone. I'm like, just put it in your phone. Oh, Spanky's Quest. Spanky's Quest. Spanky. What's your favorite little rascal? Is it Alfalfa or Spanky? <laughs> Sinner. Man, this game looks like shit. This looks like like color a dinosaur, like quality drawing. Like, look, it's, it's like like the colors not even in the lines. Like, ugh. That looks terrible. I remember this game, dude. I remember this game because you can't skip this fucking beginning cinematic for some goddamn reason. Sit there and watch okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh. What is the point of this? Why am I bouncing this fucking ball sack on my face for? Why are you drawing flowers? I told you to keep a list. <laughs> I don't have any more to write down yet. Yeah, the music's not bad, I guess. Weird, dude. Yeah, I wanna make this game, right? Okay, stay with me, it's a concept here, okay? It's got a monkey in it, okay? And he, he bounces the ball off his head, and it bounces. And then it gets big, and then you push the button, and it turns into other balls, like volleyballs and basketballs, and then it kills him, and you get the key, and then you get in the door, and then do it again. Like, who comes up with this? What do you wanna call it? Spanky's Quest? I feel like Are you seeing this? Yeah. Fever dream of a game? Look at this, watch. It's... Look at this. All fun. Look. Like what? It's a basketball. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, dude. It's strangely... It's strangely fun, though. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, the big basketballs didn't fucking get them. Why is there a peach running around? I don't fucking know what the hell's going on in this game, babe. I'll be honest with you. For some reason, you can't drop down a section when you're doing this platforming, which is stupid. Excuse me, but you need to smash that peach or orange or it is. Kill it! Oh, barely! Awesome. Pinbot. Pinbot. This is a... This is a game I always used to see for sale, and I, I would never, like, rent it or buy it or anything, because it was just like... I was just never been big into pinball. One day there. Oh, this is a rare joint. Oh, damn, I'm getting some titties in my face on this game, dude. Look at that. Titty shot. You missed it. I don't care, but my titties are better. Those are robot titties. You can't beat robot titties, dude. Sorry to say. Ugh, dude, this just looks terrible. What the fuck? It looks like somebody, somebody puked on a table and it just re vaguely resembled the shape of a pinball table and they just took a picture of it and went with it. It's how it look exactly like this. Ugh, just the color scheme they used is just horrible. See, that's what I'm talking about with pinball, dude. I mean, there's just nothing you can do. That's why I like, I feel like I like Sonic Spinball, because you can at least control yourself in the midair a little bit. And you have a little bit of control. Oh, it's going to take four years for the ball to drop every time you fucking do it. That's real fun. Okay. Carlos, Carlos couldn't add that extra penny. Oh, shut up, babe. I'll give you a penny to shut up. I have plenty of money. Call this game Shitbot. Oh my god, it's gotta do this every time? Ooh. 
dude. Rare on the NES was pretty rough, dude. Wow, this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, I can't... In this left area, that's uh, this blue area on the side, like, I can't even tell what the hell I'm even looking at. It's a proctor. Wow. <laughs> okay, thanks for that game. Did you hear I don't that? even know what the fuck I'm even looking at, dude. It's like one of those fucking magic eye books that you bring up to your face and try to see a shape is what it looks like. Okay, I'm trying to get where that arrow is pointing. There we go. Is this it? Is there nothing else to this board? Yeah, this music's real good in this game, dude. I, I love this. I love this song. Okay. Crashy crash. Terminator on Genesis. This guy's a fucking badass going up against this robot by himself. Throwing these fucking pool balls at him. Look like a car mechanic. Ooh, that jump animation. Ooh, that's horrible. Woo! Damn! Don't fuck around with ladders, dude. This game's weird. I don't think I ever played this. Why can't I just have a gun? So I bought uh, the Crisis Remastered Trilogy, but like I've been playing Crisis 2 on my Series X, and when I first played it, like it was really weird, like it wasn't loading shit in right, and I've had it crash on me, so I don't know what the fucking deal is. But I've had my Series X a couple times now act really strange and not load stuff in right and, and shit like that. I turned the variable refresh rate thing off, so I'm gonna see if maybe that helps. So I guess the goal here is to keep moving. You can't dodge! Like, what are you, what are you supposed to do? It's the worst fucking game ever made, dude. This is fucked! Fuck this game, dude! What's the next game? What a piece of fucking filth! The Adventures of Batman and Robin on an SNES. I'm pretty sure the Genesis version of this game is better, though. I hate when they put doors in, in video games that look like you can go into them, but you can't. Like, it looks like you should be able to go into this door. See, I never watched this Adventures of Batman or Robin. Like, it, believe it or not, as a kid, like, I really wasn't into superheroes that much, dude. Like, I, I think Batman's the only one I really liked at all. I, I never cared for Superman. Um, and even then, Batman-wise, I didn't like most of the movies. This is a pretty cool game. It's fucking hard, though. Did you like any of the newer Batman movies? Yeah, I, I love Dark Knight. Dark Knight's our favorite. Yeah, Dark Knight's the fucking shit, dude. That's a masterpiece. Look how big bat like either Batman's fucking enormous or these fucking roller coaster cars are just fucking tiny, dude. Like, even if he sat down, he would still be way too big for these fucking things. Okay, so I can't jump over there? I gotta do the whole thing over again. We got like three continues. Use kicks for the Wait, 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 wait. How far is it starting me back? Whoa, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Old style crash! Oh boy. Holy shit, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Game of your choice, babe. Game of my choice. <sighs> Fuck that, dude. Uh, let's play some totally rad. Haven't played that in a while. Jesus Christ, dude. I hate games that make you start over like 15 minutes of gameplay every time you fucking die. That's dumb. Ain't got fucking, dude, the older I get, the less time I got for shit like that. 
This was a random game. Like, I rented this at one point, and I liked it. And then when I, my video store sold all their games, I ended up buying it. Because I liked it so much. The only main problem with it is just too short. I mean, you can beat this game very quick, dude. I mean, it's like five levels or something, six levels. So, like, if I got this for, like, full price back in the day, like, oh my god, dude, I would have been fucking furious. I love the cover to this game, too. Bum, 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 bum. Sometimes I'll just, like, start humming this song out of the blue. <laughs> I was gonna make a video about this Halloween store that's like down the street from us called Foy's. It's like Foy's Halloween store. It's in Fairborn. But we got there and we're walking around and we're like, it's a place I used to go to when I was a kid. It's like an entire block of like Halloween stores and all kinds of stuff. But it's just really not that interesting anymore. I, the older I get, the more I'm just like less interested in this place. Uh, I said last year we didn't even go. Yeah, we didn't even go last year. So I didn't end up making a video on it. It's a cool place, it's just not that great. It'd be cooler if we could do a video where there weren't a lot of people there. Yeah, there's too many people hard. there, dude. Yeah, this game was actually a game that was uh, called Magic John in Japan. And then they changed it into this, like, 90s weirdness for the American release. You thought you had to pop that? Yeah. It's like Cracker Jacks. Oh my god, dude. Bring it to me. Now this game's awesome, dude. And like, the way this guy talks. He doesn't open his mouth, he just moves his lips. So you thought you had to pop, you had to I pop Crunch and Munch? I thought, well, it was in a box. I thought it was a bag, little bag to pop. Is so everything that's in a box you gotta pop? Shut your mouth! Things I deal with, guys. Yeah, Ani thought you had to pop this. God. Things I deal with. I hate popcorn, dude. I always get fucking kernels in my fucking teeth and it drives me nuts. I love, like, I've been eating a lot of popcorn lately. I've been putting, like, Frank's Red Hot sauce on it. If you eat popcorn, put Frank's Red Hot on it, dude. It's delicious. It's actually good. Really good, but it always gets stuck in my teeth, dude. Like, and it drives me crazy. So I'm digging out kernels out of my fucking teeth for two hours afterwards. Doing some 8-bit gaming, folks. I remember that, well, that one guy used to always come to my streams. Why are you playing these old games? Uh, Ron Saber. I, dude, even when I was a kid, I didn't care about what a game looked like, dude. Again, like, again. a game's a game. I mean, if it's fun, it's fun. I just did not care. I, I used to I used to play the NES in equal amounts as, as the Super Nintendo. I, I, I got my Super Nintendo for my birthday, but I was always plugging in the NES to play Mega Man and shit, dude. Castlevania and, and shit like that. Ooh, okay, this game feels good to play. Strider ripoff, but feels pretty good to play. Yeah, this is a Strider ripoff, dude. Thanks, Flame Hero. Super pitfall for NES. Oh no. I thought we were friends, dude. Nope. What am I fighting? A, a keg of beer? What is this? Dude, babe. Get that beer out. Oh god, he's busted out of the keg. Oh, what, is this jet gonna take off with me on top of it? That's cool. A lot of people fucking text me, ask me a question, and then I respond and they don't fucking reply. Oh shit, I'm hanging off this jet, dude. This is fucking badass. Like, I would, I would legitimately probably want to beat this on my Vita now. I bet it gets hard as fuck, though. No, he did not get his Rolex. 
No, I'm not gonna get one, guys. It's, it's I'm, I, I can't justify spending that much on a watch. The only, the only way I would ever get a Rolex is if somebody, like, traded me something for it. I thought for sure somebody would fucking be like, yeah, I'll trade you for those PS1 games. But I had one guy say, yeah, I'll do it, and then he's just like, then he backed out. He's stupid. He <laughs> Thanks, babe. He's stupid. Why is every boss in this game a fucking floating head? Jesus. Yeah, this is one of those games that's just going to get way too fucking hard. Thanks, big chungus. I have a Rolex Explorer 2. I wear it every day. My daughter will inherit it. Yeah, I want one, man, but I'm just not... I'm not going to... Like I said, I can't justify that much money for a watch. My whole thing is I just go through phases. And Ani knows it. Yep. So that's just a phase. And I, I'm kind of over it now anyway. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get one. Alright, what's next? Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street on any... Let's do Nightmare on Elm Street because I vaguely enjoy that game. <laughs> way more than Friday the 13th. Well... Pick one. Babe. Let's do Friday the 13th because I haven't played that in a while. This was the very first ROM I ever played. When I discovered emulators and I figured out how to do it. This is the very first one I ever played. Has everybody here seen Squid Games? I've never had that much fun watching a show probably my entire life, dude. No South Koreans know how to fucking make a show, dude. Yeah, I don't I don't understand this game, dude. I never did. I remember I played this for like five minutes because I always wanted to play it when I was a kid. I remember my dad saying it sucked. He's like, nah, it sucks. I played it and then I moved on to another game. I discovered ROMs and emulators. It was a glorious day, dude. I, 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 I mean, I, I see what they were trying to do with this game. I really do. But it just fails. Thanks, Hug Savage. Is it weird I missed Cinemasker's Monster Madness? Well, he did it, and then he fucking ripped, ripped off an article or something, right? Plagiarism. I love how James Rolfe somehow dodged the bullet on that. I love how James Rolfe can just do whatever he wants, and everybody just forgives him. Yep. He could literally... James Rolfe could literally light a baby on fire on a live stream in front of 20,000 people and he'd be like, Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't... You know, I just... I thought it would be enjoyable. I, I didn't know. You know, I was... You know, I, I guess it was just a... You know, it was a bad, bad thing to do. But I, so I apologize. And he'd give some half ass apology and everybody's like, Ah, it's all right, James. You're, you made some good videos 15 years ago. So I guess you get a pass. It just blows my mind that people can do whatever they want, and it's completely fine, and it's never brought up again, but I, I tried to make a failing website fucking, what, 10, 15 years ago, and people still don't fucking shut up about that. So I'm never going to be forgiven for that, but James Rolfe can literally fuck people over constantly. Uh, same thing with Mike Matai and all these other people, and it's like, ah, eh, whatever, you know. It just blows my mind story of my life. Alright, what's next? Yo, mama. Okay. Uh, Gremlins 2. What'd you say? Gremlins 2. Before that? Your mama? Shut up. Gremlins 2. I just played this not too long ago, this Gremlins 2, yeah, actually. You batch. But it's, it's a fun game, though. Yeah, this game's cool. Sunsoft, like, went above and beyond. Like, they would, you know, they'd get the rights to Gremlins 2 and then they'd make this fucking just like amazing game with it. It was like, you guys didn't have to go all out for this, guys, but you did, so I'm glad. It's basically Fester's Quest, but good. Thanks, Ryan. I was too young to be able to pay for the website, but here's to trying to be ambitious in a time when YouTubers didn't make any money. Thanks, Ryan. I, I tried. Got demonized for it. Like I said, uh... A lot of that shit was uh, a quarrel between me and the, the guy I made the website with, and it failed because he's a fucking dumbass. Wouldn't give me the fucking password for the website, and he just ran it into the ground. Then he wanted to, uh, he wanted like half the money, anything we made, even though he didn't make any fucking videos, and literally the only thing he did was secure the domain. 
So that pretty much ended our friendship in a lot of ways. He's a fucking asshole. I worked at Staples at the time, and I remember on my break calling him and being like, dude, you need to give me the password for the fucking site now. I was like, it's, it's not working right, people can't do this, they can't do that, and he wouldn't give me the password. It's a fucking joke. I feel like Gremlins 2 is one of those movies that people are, like, going back and discovering and realizing that it's actually pretty fucking good. In my opinion, it's better than the first one, because it's just bonkers. And I just, I feel like the first movie is just overrated. That's what I said. Gremlins 2 is better. No. Yes. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No way. Yeah, Gremlins 1 takes too long to build up. That's kind of what I feel with uh, the first Child's Play, too. Like, the first Child's Play is a decent movie, but it just takes too long to build up to anything, dude. Like, now that we know, we've seen all the sequels, it's really hard to go back and watch the first Child's Play. Where it's like building up, like, is the doll killing people or not? Of course he is. We know that now, but it's just boring to watch. I'll watch Child's Play 2 over the fucking first one any day of the week, dude. Alright, what's next? Super Pet Fall. Oh, no. Oh, God, help me. Ugh, dude, I can't even look at it. Look how fucking choppy it is. What a joke. Yeah, I don't even... Look how he swims, dude. How he swims. He can't swim. He looks like he's trying to do a cartwheel. Jesus. <laughs> I ain't about to take too much of this game. Look at that, that's a load. So think about if he even wants to bother creating the image on the screen or not. I don't even know what I'm even supposed to be fucking doing, dude. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, yeah. What is happening? What is this? What a miserable failure, dude. I mean, there's just no reason for it, dude, like, for this game to exist. I mean, this came out, like, after Mario Brothers and stuff. Like, this should come out before. there should be, be no reason why this is this bad. This fucking five-second music loop. <laughs> you did not like this game, dude. Nobody likes this game. Ugh, controls. Mm, give it to me. Dude, nobody ever completed this game back in the day just by figuring it out, dude. I'm convinced. I, I think this actually might be the worst game on the NES, dude. Like, I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking, like, I really don't think there's anything worse than this. Like, I would rather play pretty much anything than this, dude. Like, look, it looks like he's taking a shit when you've been down, dude. Like, everything about this game is just half-assed. I can't oh, look, you die. Believe how bad it is, dude. Like, I can't imagine any kid getting this and ever completely. Yeah, I'm just stuck on the ladder. Stuck on the ladder! Uh. Crash. Dude, I'm serious. Like, let's look at this. Like, I don't think there's a, a, a worse game than, not, than that, dude. On NES. Like, I, I'm legit looking, dude. I mean, Back to the Future 2 and 3 is pretty bad. So is Back to the Future. But I would still rather play Back to the Future, dude. Like, seriously, I'll put this on right now and have more fun. Look, it's, it's, look how much better it is. It doesn't even work. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't even work. <laughs> I wonder if it's just that emulator. Yeah, there's a war pit inside of an enemy. It looks no different from any other enemy. Dude, it's just a, a fucking catastrophe. All right, what, what game's next? Ghostbusters! Oh my god. Zach, it's been raining a lot. We were gonna go to the Renaissance Festival again, but it yesterday. was it was yesterday, it was raining the whole day, and now it's raining the whole day today. Yeah. I don't I'm not sure how to even play this fucking game, dude. This is one of those games you gotta push select in order to pause it. 
Ugh. It's still better than Super Pitfall, dude. At least there's actually gameplay here. It's not just wandering around in a cave, jumping for invisible keys. And a game that barely can even scroll without fucking having a seizure. The, the thing about this game is that it's, it's, it's like a remake of a... This is a remake of a Atari game. So, you can't really expect too much out of this game anyways. I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority, guys, but I've just never gotten into Ghostbusters that much. I was talking to Ani about this the other day. I was like, people just love their Ghostbusters, dude. And I just, it's not that great. It's not that great. When it comes to Bill Murray, I'm all I'm way more about Groundhog Day yeah. than I am Ghostbusters. I call it Groundhog Day over. I love over. Groundhog Day. God, I can't believe there's like one song through the entire fucking game, dude. I like how the song just has like a seizure and just completely just starts doing its own thing. Like I said, I, I give this game some credit because it is an old game, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's it, this is a remake of an Atari game. So for what it is, this is actually a pretty complicated Atari game, dude. Oh, this is Atari? Yeah, this was on Atari. I had this on Atari back in the day. They just shouldn't have made an NES version of it. Alright, guys, we gotta eat. I'm fucking starving. But we will be back. We'll be back. Alright, homies. I'll see you guys. I'll keep it up.